I'm currently running through the woods at a very fast pace because I have to show you guys something really, really important before I show you guys something really, really important. I need you guys to leave a like on today's video. I'm super excited right now. I just drank a cup of coffee and I'm super excited and I'm super excited and, and but really though, I'm super excited to show you guys a underground secret base in today's video. Now this secret base is a secret and I, it can't be shown to anyone. So whatever I do, I just can't show my coordinates to everyone that's watching this video. Oh! Oh, hi. How you doing? Are you eating the tree? I thought you were supposed to eat the bamboo. Anyways, carrying on, this is the entrance to the secret base. Now, I know the entrance isn't super, super secretive, but, um... It's pretty cool. Now, if I was living here at this secret base, I would definitely make a more secretive entrance, but this one is still just super, super cool. We can jump off to a 360 and land in the water and come all the way down, and there is a second entrance. So you can see this place is pretty secure. And if you don't have the proper identification, the doors will not open. But right when you come in to the underground base, you're presented with this massive, fish tank right in the middle, which I think is so, so cool. You're also presented with this. Now, I don't really know exactly what is going on here. It looks like these are like the pumps or the filters for the fish tank, I, I guess. I don't really know what this is. It's just for decoration. And then over here to the left, you got some knowledge. It's always good to keep your brain fresh when you're underground in a Minecraft world. We can run over here and open this other door and we are presented with a control room, which allows us to change the difficulty of the game. Now, why exactly would you want to do this? Well, honestly, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on hard mode and kind of see what happens. Wait, watch out for slimes in the base. Oh geez, I don't even have a sword. Maybe I shouldn't put it on a hard mode. <laughs> We're gonna leave it on hard mode and see how good this underground base holds up. All right, as you walk through here, you can tell that this place is just massive. One thing that I really appreciate about this place is how high the ceilings are. A lot of underground bases have like really low ceilings, but this place is no, no, no. High ceilings, big doors. And over here, this is a party room. So we can actually press this button and it will start changing the floors like it's a giant disco. That is so, so cool. I've never seen carpet that does that. You can also also change the color of the sofa just in case you don't want your sofa to be blue it can be pink and of course we have a tv remote with a functioning tv in the wall yeah this base is not just underground it's high tech as well <laughs> Hi, uh, sorry to interrupt the video. This is from www.speakable.com. If you guys ever need any merchandise, hats, hoodies, accessories, we even got T-Rex costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, check out the merchandise link at the top of the description or head over to www.speakable.com for some merchandise. This is just the beginning of the base. Let's go downstairs because as you, oh, there's a slime, there's a slime, 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 oh, there's more, oh, oh, there's many slimes, many slime, many, many, nope, nope, stop, thank you. Okay, so we're downstairs now and we are presented with a massive farming system. So we have pretty much everything in here that will allow us to live for days, if not weeks and months. I mean, there is just so much food in here. It is insane. There's also a control room system right here where it allows you to literally replant the entire area. So we can harvest that entire side. Look at that. And all of the food is gonna get pushed down there into the hoppers and thrown into a chest. So we press the harvest button, but the problem is, is now we need to replant it. Well, don't worry, because there's literally a replant button that allows us to replant all of it. Like what? Of course, you can do the same thing with the right side as well. Drop down the water, get rid of all the crops, and then replant them. And replant. Like what? I'm sorry. That is just crazy to me. I mean, look at this farm. Look at that. Look at you know how much food we just got. If we come past the farm and over here to this door, this is where the base gets a little bit more secure. There's actually a code we need to enter, and it is 316. There we go. Code confirmed. And then it will open up the door, and we are presented with a secret room. In this secret room, we have a beacon right here, and we can turn on this beacon, and it will pretty much give us superpowers! This room is basically a giant safe. It is super, super protected. There's obsidian all around these walls behind these blocks. And this room is protected because of the beacon and all the gold that's under here. But not just that, there's also barrels all in the wall that are just full of diamonds, gold, iron, 
everything, you name it. So this room is basically the safe room. Anything that's super expensive, you throw in this room. Press the button, we can open back the safe up. There we go. The way the door opens is so, so cool. Continuing on, if we go through this door right here, I actually don't know where this goes. Oh, this goes downstairs again. Oh my gosh, I told you guys, this place is huge. This is ridiculous. So in here, we have pretty much kind of a kitchen, but also a storage area. Pretty much this is where we cook the food. We have some smokers over here, some furnaces, anything you need to do with food and smelting things is gonna be in this room. Continuing down the hallway, we are coming in on our nether section. We can flip this lever and we instantly get a nether portal. How cool is that? And then over here, we can flick this lever and it will open up all these four doors. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but these were all closed. Flick this lever and it opens them all to chests. So this is our storage room. We can put literally anything in here. There is so many chests, armor, cookies, bread, carrots, anything, you name it, goes in these chests. I really like how the floor is clear so you can see all the redstone. That is just so, so cool. And we have another door right here that keeps going and leads us into the mines. Now, this is a really, really cool area because the beacon will be active in this area so you can mine and walk really, really fast fast. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different mines in this area going all different directions. I mean, you're bound to find plenty of diamonds for sure. And we're on Y level 11, which is the perfect level to find diamonds. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt the Minecraft video, but I want to show you guys how you can hop on my server and play Minecraft with me. Once you're on your Minecraft screen, click multiplayer, then click add server. You're going to type in the server address, which is play.chasecraft.gg. Then you're going to click done, and then you're going to click on the server and click join. And it's that easy. I'll see you guys on the server. Heading over here, there's more barrels for storage. And then we have a ladder that will allow us to climb out of here. Now, this actually leads back to the main entrance. So if you guys remember where this is, where the fish tank was, it all kinds of leads around. So this right here is another way to get to the mines, which is really, really cool. And we have another door that will lead us into the bedroom. So, oh, door shutting, but across from the fish tank is the bedroom. So we have a bed here, we have chests, we have some knowledge. We got our closet that is full of different shades of armor. And then of course we have the bathroom as well, the toilet, the shower, and press this button and it's secret storage. So you can actually press this button and go behind here and there's some secret storage back here. How cool is that? And we got our toilet paper back here. Over here near the front next to the knowledge, we do of course have an enchanting table that literally just comes out of the ground. It, it literally just appears instantly. Like what? What? That is so, so cool. It's so unnecessary, but it's so, so cool. If you guys think that's all, that is not true because we can head downstairs again and we actually forgot this door right here. So this is a movie theater. We literally have a movie theater underground and this map is made by Dodo Studios. So definitely like it, leave a rating guys. This movie theater literally has beds. That is so, so cool. We can flick this lever and turn on the movie. And right before we come in the theater, there actually is a popcorn machine right here where we can press a button and get some popcorn. How cool is that? And guys, that is gonna do it for the underground base. Now, before you guys go, I need some opinions. I'm thinking, what if I invited 100 fans, 100 of you guys onto my Minecraft server and see if you guys could break into my underground base? And if you guys can do it within 15 minutes, then I'll give you guys the base. If you guys wanna see something like that, then just Leave a like on this video. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, there's a slime. There's a slime. 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 Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, there's many slimes. Many slimes. Many, many. Nope. Nope. Stop. Thank you.